I've got a confession to make. Lately, I've become obsessed with sports cards, sports cards, sports cards. Not just me, it seems like everybody is getting back into the hobby. There's a lot of money to be made in it, and they're fun as hell to collect, so it's blowing up once again. It's everything I love. Sports, collecting, nostalgia. It's what I'm about. Every day I saw more and more friends ripping packs, so I started doing my research. I was all over YouTube and eBay just trying to learn the game again. There's so many different products. Prism, Optic, Contenders, what is all this stuff? So once I got a general understanding of everything, I started buying boxes, packs, individual cards that I wanted to collect or maybe even invest in. Now unfortunately, with the recent boom, the store shelves are pretty much wiped clean. I've been on the hunt for weeks and was able to find some product, but it was far and few between. Some of the stuff I had to pay resale for on eBay. The resellers are making it tough to rip packs and collect these days, but a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. So I figured, why not create some content with this fun hobby and help teach some of you throughout my journey back into the sports car world. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? Today we've got here a box of Don Russ football. It is a mega box. This is something you can find in like your target. Um, comes with 56 cards basically. Um, I believe it is, as you can see, 7 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. So 56 cards. Now, uh, it also pretty much guarantees one autograph and one memorabilia card per box on average. They got to put that on average in there because not every single box is going to have that. But typically, from my experience, if it says that's what you're going to get in the box, typically that is what you get. Now, the autograph could be of an amazing player, right? Get a Joe Burrow autograph, a Justin Herbert autograph, right? Rookies is what you're really after. Um, but, you know, Patrick Mahomes autograph is obviously good too. Or you can get an autograph of somebody that is just not desirable at all. Like, for example, uh, you know, like a sixth round rookie who doesn't have much upside. Or, you know, a veteran that's been in the league for five years and he's kind of just like an average player, right? Like, uh... Let's say my team, the Saints, like Latavius Murray, right? Love Latavius Murray. I don't want to pull Latavius Murray autograph, though, because it ain't really worth anything. So before I get into this, uh, for those of you that are kind of new and you don't really understand kind of how the card game works, I've just been getting back into it myself. Um, you're always really going after rookies. That's really where your money is going to be, especially if you want to hold it, collect it, sell it later on, whatever the case is. Rookie cards are the most valuable, right? So Patrick Mahomes, you know. Any Patrick Mahomes card you pull because he's such like a big name right now is going to be worth a little something, but his rookie card is what you want because it's worth so much, but you can't pull his rookie card anymore because he's been in the league for a few years. So to compare that to who we want to pull out of this box, you want to pull Joe Burrow, Tua, Justin Herbert, probably the most valuable at the moment because he's playing the best right now. Um, even Jordan Love, obviously he's not going to play for a while, but if he does get to play a few years from now and he starts tearing it up his rookie cards are going to shoot up um receivers and running backs are okay they're not you know they're never going to like for football quarterbacks is kind of the name of the game you want quarterbacks right you know there are some you know if you pull a Clyde Edwards Elaire Justin Jefferson Jerry Judy you know Henry Ruggs those are still good pulls I'll still take that all day long but quarterbacks is really like where your big money is in terms of football basketball most of the players are just more you know, most of the positions are more worth something, and, and the players in general go for more money. That's why basketball packs and boxes uh, sell for so much money, right? Like, this is, you know, not that much in the store, but, you know, this might be like 40 bucks or something like that in the store, but on eBay, this is going for $70, $65, $80, right? Um, it's hard to find stuff in stores right now just because the hype is so high on cards, right? So this one I actually did buy on eBay. I think I got it for like 60 bucks, uh, but I'm making content with it. So that's a tax write-off, you know, um, I can make money off the video. So for me, in the end, it kind of is retail price or even a little bit cheaper because I'm buying it with the intent to make content out of it. Now for you guys at home, I don't really recommend buying resale because a lot of stuff is marked up just ridiculously too high. Certain things you can find it's not marked up too much but you know basketball is marked up a lot football not so much but you know I, I do find stuff in the store from time to time Walmart Target Walgreens is where I find the most stuff you got to check pretty often sometimes you get lucky more times than not I strike out but uh just kind of wanted to give that little bit of insight now let's get into the box itself go ahead and uh just cut this open here breaking the seal baby once you break the seal you know the box is uh box is worthless once you break the seal right uh, like if you buy this out of the store and you want to resell it you know don't break the seal <laughs> because once you break the seal it's not worth a damn thing because they don't know if you might have you know tampered with it or something so go ahead and slide this out here and, uh, 
like I said, we're hoping um, Burrow, Tua, Justin Herbert, Jordan Love, all of those are are, uh, are going to be wins, big wins. Um, but, you know, it, it is retail. Retail doesn't guarantee as much good stuff. You know, the hobby boxes of this stuff go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, and you got to get them out at like a local card shop. And those, you know, they guarantee more autographs or stuff like that. But again, you're not guaranteed to get a good player. So for me personally, uh, I like sticking with retail uh, just because, you know, it's not as it's not as expensive and I feel I find that you can pull pretty decent stuff out of retail it seems like retail stuff has gotten better so also want to be really careful um, you know protecting the cards is the name of the game uh, you know just because you damage the card then it's not worth as much some of these cards packs are just like super hard to open like they're just absolutely like just sealed to the brim or well, I don't know if that's the right term but uh, anyway so first off, we got a base Harrison Smith. Not really gonna go for anything because it's not a rookie card. Defensive players in football really don't go for anything anyway. Like you think I'm lying? Aaron Donald rookie card, you know, not worth a lot of money, right? It's offensive players mainly QB. So like this in general isn't really gonna be worth much. But again, if it's not a rookie, you know, it, you know if, if it's a good insert, a rare insert that you pull, which you can pull out of these types of uh, you know boxes, they'll be worth a little bit more. Um, it's Evan Ingram base card. We've got a Khalil Mack base card. Now we got a card that's backwards. A lot of times when a card is backwards, that could mean, you know, it could be an autograph. It could be like a parallel, which means a, a rarer version of the base card. Sometimes they're just backwards and they just kind of fool you. And it is an autograph. So there you go. Um, Preston Williams autograph signature marks. Now, again, that box pretty much guarantees one autograph. And one memorabilia card. A memorabilia card means like a you know a card with a jersey patch or something on it. Now, this isn't really the best autograph, right? Because you know Preston Williams is a fine player, but he's not a rookie. Um, so it's it's not really the card that you that you want to pull. But an autograph is still an autograph. So then we have this is why I like the mega boxes. So they give you these optic preview rated rookies, which are uh, these pink like parallel versions. Now, Optic is a really kind of highly sought after, you know, brand from Don Russ. Like, there's Don Russ Regular, which this is, and then there's Don Russ Optic, which is a separate product. But what they did this year was they kind of put these Optic preview cards into the regular Don Russ product. Um, now, it is Isaiah Simmons, not the best pull, because again, defensive players don't go for as much, but we'll take it. It's still not a bad card. You should get one of these, I believe, in every pack. That's why I really like this box. And then here we have a Stefan Gilmore Defensive Player of the Year insert. Cool card, probably not worth a whole lot, but it's a cool card. Um, we've got a rookie card, Christian Fulton. Again, defensive player, so not really your, your best. And then um, a Joe Mixon base. So not a terrible first pack. I mean, we got our autograph. We got a, you know, our optic rookie. We got another rookie, but we want those quarterbacks or at least some skill position type players. That's, that's really... Um, what we're after so let's see if the second pack can give us a little bit more of that and, um, first card here uh, Matt Judon okay not what you're looking for uh, Malcolm Jenkins of my Saints he, he's been playing pretty bad this year uh, very very frustrating how bad he's played uh, he's definitely showing his age uh, Terry McLaurin one of the best young receivers in the league but again it's not a rookie card now here is a decent card because it is a press proof bronze this is a parallel card it's not the base notice how it is bronze so that means it's uh, it's a little bit different of a variation i don't believe it is numbered though because some cards will be numbered right if it's a low number card it could be worth a little bit more so not a terrible card probably not worth a whole bunch though either here's our next optic rated rookie or this isn't even a rated rookie this is just a regular rookie uh, the rated rookies are a little bit better. Um, this is Terrell Lewis, not the guy you want to pull at all. Um, definitely, definitely not it. Uh, that that's kind of a dud. Uh, we got a Jimmy Johnson insert, Cowboy, former Cowboy head coach. We have a rookie card of Caesar Ruiz of my team, but offensive lineman, much like the defensive players, not really worth much. Not really a market for those guys. Got a Minka Fitzpatrick, a base card, and this is just you know trash that's in the pack. A kid reporter. Uh, card um, so yeah Minka Fitzpatrick so far not not the best right um no offensive rookies yet are good offensive rookies we did get the uh the lineman but uh, it's not who we want 
got Hollywood Brown, second year player, Kyler Murray, second year player. Now, Kyler Murray's second year card, not the worst thing to pull because he looks like he has a bright future. So his second year cards could be, you know, a little bit of value in the future. Not anything crazy, though. Nothing like the rookies. Uh, we have a, a Jayon Brown. We've got Derrick Henry, but again, these, these aren't rookie cards. And here we got a Michael Pittman Jr. rated rookie. So it says rated rookie on it. That's obviously a little bit better. Uh, this is our best, probably, uh, optic pull so far because it is an offensive player. It's a skill position. It's not one of the bigger receiver names, but uh, in the future, he could be, you know, once he starts playing a little bit more. So not terrible. We have a Dominators insert of Aaron Donald. Uh, probably not worth a whole lot, but a very cool looking card. Probably a card I'll keep. Um, it's got the little checkerboard pattern on it, which is nice. And then we have a rated rookie of KJ Hamler. Not bad. Getting a little bit better. We would want Jerry Judy. That's the Broncos receiver we really want. But it is a skill position rookie card, which is always nice. And then we have a Chris Jones base to end out that pack. So, you know. This box so far hasn't been too crazy. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is, this has kind of been some mid. I'm gonna have to open this pack back here because this one's trying to give me a little bit of trouble. There we go. I'm trying to, it's just like you wanna, you don't wanna like mess up the, the cards on the inside. Again, protecting the card, condition, name of the game all day long. So back here in front of this camera we've got a Dante Hightower base nothing good there Melvin Ingram base nothing good there Le'Veon Bell base it's not what we're looking for here we have another bronze press proof this is CJ Mosley uh, again defensive player so not really the greatest but it is a paralleled card and in here we have Derek Brown optic rookie card it's not a rated rookie which would be better and again defensive player so this box, had, it honestly hasn't been the best yet, but we still got a few packs left to go. It could get better. We have an insert of Peyton Manning, Legends of the Fall. I, another reason I really like the Don Russ product, it's one of the more lower products, the Don Russ regular. The Don Russ Optic, however, is, is definitely like something that collecting wise and resell value on card wise is higher. And then, of course, your Prism is like the most popular, like card that gets sold traded resold right but the thing i like about don russ in general even though this is like the lower tier of don russ they have a lot of cool inserts like this um i, I do like to you know get the cool inserts and they've got some they've got they've got probably some of the best ones and out of all the products in my opinion uh we have a base or actually yeah, a rookie card base of jason huntley i mean not really the guy you were looking for um they got an alshon jeffrey base card and then we have the uh the Super Bowl reporter card that's in most packs. Uh, if your kid wants to be a reporter at the Super Bowl, you know, enter that code. Maybe you get lucky. So three packs left so far. Not going to lie. Like I've been saying, kind of some mid. Uh, but we still got three more packs to, to pull something good. Maybe a Burrow, maybe a Tua. Uh, any, any rookie QB is going to, you know, be, be good. It looked like we had a Mahomes there on the back, unless I was reading that wrong. Uh, so we got a Keenan Allen base, we've got a Noah Fant base, Cooper Cup base, oh, well, we just saw who our rookie was, um, our optic rated rookie, so we have a Trent Brown base, not really too good, now Jonathan Taylor, this is, this is a pretty decent pull, rated rookie, it's a running back, one of the more promising running backs in the class, obviously right now Clyde, DeAndre Swift, probably like the two top guys, like, that are performing the best, but Jonathan Taylor, definitely, definitely a guy you don't mind pulling for sure. Uh, here we have, again, inserts. I love the Don Russ inserts. We have a Legend Series Joe Green. Pretty cool. We have a rookie card of Harrison Bryant. Not really the guy you're looking for. And then we do have a Patrick Mahomes. Now, no Patrick Mahomes is a bad Mahomes, right? He's just so hot right now that, you know, obviously in a, in a regular Don Russ card, this still isn't going to be a whole bunch. But whereas if this was any other veteran player... You know, it's probably less than a dollar. This, you, you might get a few bucks for it just because it is Mahomes. Like, that's just, the Mahomes market is just absolutely crazy right now. And a lot of people can't afford any of his rookie stuff because it's already so sky high. So, you know, just people will get any any rookie card, or not rookie card, any card, period, that people can get their hands on of Mahomes. It's like, you know, they'll take it. Um, here we got Philip Lindsay base card, Jalen Smith base card, Derek Carr base card. Okay, this is probably our memorabilia card because it's backwards. It is a rookie, Gabriel Davis, so not bad. And it is. It's the rookie phenom. So you can see 
little patch here. It's also looks to be like a green parallel. You can see like the green foil. So this isn't terrible. This is, is it numbered? I don't think it's numbered. Um, but this is, this is cool. This is, this is not bad. Um, again, you know, you'd like one of the, the bigger name, like receiver type guys or a QB, but uh, it is a rookie. So we will definitely take it. And then here's our, uh, optic card Darrell Taylor we, we we've been we've been striking out on these for sure the Pittman and the and the Jonathan Taylor so far really the only two good ones Isaiah Simmons I, I mean he's a big name for a defensive guy so okay but we haven't been put we got none of the QBs we got none of the big name receivers we didn't get Clyde you know so kind of rough uh, here we got another insert here which is the retro series Jerry Rice this one's all right this one isn't as good as some of the other ones and then we have a rated rookie of Tyler Johnson. Um, again, we'd like to see some bigger names there, but we will take it. And then we have a base of Carson Wentz and then the Kid Reporter card. So we have one pack left. We uh, we need some good, you know, last pack mojo. That's that's what, that's what we call it, right? Last pack mojo. Got to get something good here. We can see a keep to lead on the back there. Let's see what we got here. So we got a Bernie Kosar base card a Nick Chubb base DD Westbrook base Let's see what we got here we've got a press proof bronze of Jedrick Wills again I mean it's offensive lineman so not that great and a rated rookie of Jake Luton there's a quarterback it's certainly not any of the quarterbacks you want I mean we even take Jalen Hurts uh, you know, Jacob Eason even, but not, not this guy. Definitely not this guy. Here we have a rated rookie of, this is a canvas of Brian Edwards. Now this isn't bad. You can see it's canvas. Like you can kind of see like the, on the card, how the texture is different. Um, this right here isn't, isn't a terrible card. Brian Edwards. I like Brian Edwards. I think he's going to be a pretty good player. This, this isn't terrible. Again, you would like the bigger names though, but not terrible. And then here we have Cole McDonald rookie card. Again, not the guy you want. And then Aqib Tlaib base. So I would say overall that box is an L. That, that, I mean, that's just honest opinion. Some of them are L's. Some of them are super dubbed. You know, I've seen people open that box and get multiple QBs and, you know, stuff like that. Um, it probably could have been worse, but it could have been a whole lot better too. So that is going to be the first in real life pack opening if you want to see more of this on the channel let me know if not i'm going to put it on the second channel one way or the other i'm going to do a lot of these pack openings i know people are into it now i have a lot of fun with it so hope you enjoyed this video and as always i will see you guys next time